Hello and welcome. This is Nikhil Raj, course director for Tutomash.com. In this session, we are going to cover the topic global change. So in Primavera, you might have seen one option called as global change. Global change in Primavera enables you to make changes to all activities, resource assignments or project expenses or a selected group of these items at one time. You can use global change to edit existing values or assign new values. For example, you can create a statement to assign resource assignment to a group of activities. So we will see the concept behind global change. Let's say there is an activity. This is an activity. So here you can see A is the name of the activity. So there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 activities are there which named as A. And there is a resource which assigned to every activity that is Mr. A is working for every activity. Now if you want to change the name of the activity at one shot, you can use global change. You can give a condition says that if activity name equals A, then activity name equals B. When you do this condition in global change, program automatically changes the name of activity from A to B. Same way you can do this global change for resource assignment. Let's say Mr. A is working for all these activities. If you want to change it to Mr. B, instead of changing it one by one, you can change it by one shot using global change. So we will see how global change works in Primavera with an example. So here is the example. This is a project, Shetal Serenity Apartment Project Structure Schedule. So before you do a global change to one project, you have to do one thing, you have to copy it and paste it. And you try the global chain whether it is working. If it is working, then you can go for the real project. Because if you done the global change, then you cannot go back. So it's always better to copy the project and paste it here and do the global change here. If it is working, then you can go back and do it in the real project. So we will see how global change is working. So here is a project. So there is activities, activity assignments are there. So here you can see in some activities I have assigned supervisor. Okay. So shuttering of footing, supervisor is working, concrete of footing, supervisor is working. So here there are a lot of activities where supervisor is working. So now my management is asking me to remove the supervisor from all the assignments and change it to senior site supervisor. So what I do, I have to go to resources. I need to create that resource first. So create a new resource. Name it as senior site supervisor. can give the course some $50 per day and we have some 10 supervisor so instead of supervisor I want senior site supervisor to work so what I do I'll go to tools go to global change here is global change now create a new global change these are the by default global change functions here you can create a new one say new and first of all you have to select the subject area so I want to change the subject area to activity resource assignment then give a name supervisor to senior side supervisor okay then you can give the condition if were resource ID name is equals supervisor then click here press add again then say the parameter resource name equals senior site supervisor so this is the condition where resource ID name equals supervisor then resource ID name equals senior site supervisor 
after that press ok so here you have created a new global change supervisor to senior site supervisor after that press apply change so here you can see this is a report it says there are four activities where supervisor is assigned now the new value is senior site supervisor say commit changes so program will ask you to save the log file say yes save it in documents say supervisor save it so that's it you have done you can select the activities and check whether the change has happened or not so here you can see reinforcement for 14 previously it was supervisor now it changed to senior side supervisor so this is how global change works in Primavera so this is just an example so if you want to make any major changes you can go for global change there are a number of options that you can make changes in Primavera so this is working in this project so what I do I'll close all I'll go to projects I'll open the real project so this is the real project I'll open it and I'll do the same thing here because once you've done the global change you cannot go back so I'm reminding this again and again once the global change is done you cannot go back so you have to be very careful when you do global change so hope you understood this session thanks for watching